Excellent. Let me just mix these flakes and specks into a potion here, then just dump it on your head. There you go. Now, are you familiar with the concept of spirit photography? Not in the least. Good. Saves me some exposition. Basically, I need you to photomance the Malagust with this new sight I gave you. But how are we to find the fiend? It is clever enough not to return to its former nest. That is a conundrum. It is drawn to manna, its chosen diet. Where does the manna here come from? From a font beyond. Ah, curse me for a fool. Wizard, return with me to the village. I have a notion where to find the Malagast. Right, welcome back. We are now on episode 316 of the Death Walk Through. Crazy stuff. As you see, we've just, uh, just spoken to Dr. Witch. In between episodes, I defeated a whole bunch of these guys. Drop rate, not the greatest, but it's fine. Consider a moment the Malagast. A savage beast that feeds on mana. Why attack a people starved of the stuff? Moreover, why not break into the font and gorge itself on the abundance there? Mayhap it is not as savage as it seems. Mayhap it is indeed a tamed dog, obeying the orders of a master who controls access to that font and thus its next meal. Mayhap it follows the same leader we all do. A lima with plentiful pet peeves, who commands on threat of the Malagast. Thus, we return here. If my belief is correct, Lucian must have some evidence hidden from prying eyes. Possibly even the recently evicted monster itself. But where? His cellar, I suspect. You must investigate and obtain the picture we need. I shall remain, lest my countrymen take umbrage at my presence. Okie dokie, there is a strange, strange conspiracy here. I don't know if I agree with it, but we will find out nonetheless. Let us head into the cellar and find what we're looking for. I don't see a Malagast, but perhaps these sense organs I emulate lack attunement to the correct spectrum. Try that spirit photography. Okay, entire room. Is, is this entire room enough? It is. Oh, fascinating. Your photomancy now renders visible the invisible. Perhaps we should try the next room. Uh-oh. There's some restless spirits around. I don't like it. Not cool. That kind of scared me, not gonna lie. Kind of scared me. Press Z to photomance. Any, anything here? Let's get a nice, nice view, boom. Anything? <laughs> Found him. So it eats mana, raises the dead, can't die, destroys stars, and turns invisible? What a unique life form. Photomance it. I will, but we need a close-up. I need a close-up of the Malagast. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> He runs away because it turned it invisible again. No wonder it is so hard to find. You have what you need, though. Best return to Solomon Crane. Okie dokie. So we've confirmed that Solomon Crane's conspiracy theory was right. That's kind of crazy. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that? That secretly, the, the Lima dude, Lucian, had the Malagast under his control the whole time. No one thought that ever. Definitely not. Definitely not. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Have you found the Malagast? This confirms my most dire suspicions. Lucian is behind this. We are not suffering the wrath of an absentee judge, but a puerile old man. We shall deal with him in due course. For now, we must return to the Doctor Witch and find the Malagast's weakness. Okie dokie. Weakness time. Level up. Very cool. We are now, what, level, um, 144. Very cool. Nearly halfway through, which is great. Really, really cool. Did you keep my photo? Splendid. What? Yes, 
the Malagas turns invisible. Don't be obtuse. Now, there, you see that? Of course you don't. But what we have here is a map of swords of the Malaga's spirit. Likes, dislikes, and what releases it. Just need a concoction of, mm, let's see, some of this, a little of this, none of those. Oh, definitely one of these, and that should be that. Solomon, hold out your sword. There. With that, you can release the Malagust's spirit to enter the next realm. I'll send you my bill. Well, bills. Be seated when reading them. <laughs> then we but one task, wizard. Confront Hierarch Lucian. When the master is imperiled, the dog will rush to his aid. Okie dokie. Let us go. It seems like we're fighting... Lucian, don't know if I like that. Don't think that's a good idea. Um, seem, seems bad. I don't think we should be taking on hierarchies with just fighting. You know, that never goes well. But I guess that's fine. Guess that's fine. The impertinence! Uh, you dare return after your banishment? Cast no aspersions, Lucian. After all, it is not I who unleashed the Malagast. Whatever do you mean, sir? I did not unleash the Malagast! <laughs> Run, my brothers and sisters! Run from the beast! These heathens have wrought! He flees to his home! Pursue him, wizard! Leave this demon to me! Okie dokie. They fight. They fight at noon. Oh my gosh. Guess we're fighting Lucian on our own. That sounds dangerous absolutely terribly sad um yup very very bad very 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 bad like my pets i learned to control them in a lost sanctum of the judge i discovered beneath the old town it's also where i found my manivore an invisible monster to do all my good work and it is good a village needs morals needs discipline needs to not use words i dislike. These are simple people. They don't need mana. Mana corrupts, distracts, leads to the casting of vulgar spells. So my Malagast gobbles it up. As a bonus, it also frightens the misbehaviors. All in the name of peace and tranquility and not being irksome. You, however, are disruptive. You enable the troublemaker, Solomon Crane. You trespass where you don't belong. You are unwelcome. Um, if we're unwelcome, then he is also unwelcome. That's my idea of this. So yeah, let us fight Mr. Hierarch. Um, he has a rank 20 boss. He is Storm. He cheats. He's a cheater, cheater, eliminator. Um... He has 10,155 health. He, um, cheats. If you're, um... So he changes the rules of the fight. Um, and that's fun. You can't be late, otherwise he'll place a minus 50% weakness and a minus 100% black mantle. And Beguile the Wizard who is late. Um... He'll occasionally shout new rule you must blade at the end of the first round. Um, he'll, yeah. And then you have to blade, obviously. If you do blade, he'll place a tower shield on you. If not, he'll place minus 50 weakness on you, which is slightly worrying and scary and sad and upsetting. Um, see, there we go. He just did then. Um, and new rule you must heal. By the end of some round, he will shout that. And if you heal, he'll place a plus 50 universal lightning strike on the wizard. And if you don't heal, he'll place a minus 100 black mantle on you. And... And at the beginning of the third round, he'll say, strike all your friends and be rewarded. Um, and he'll cast a beguile on the wizard. And if a wizard casts an AoE damage spell, he will do a minus 35% insane bolt on himself, removing 33% of his health. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how it goes. We probably won't get to that far, I don't think. 
because I am probably going to hit right now. Strike all your friends and be rewarded. How about... No. Unfortunately, hitting right now is a very bad choice, and I should have not done that. Oh, well. This is fine, probably. Probably fine. I don't have any friends to hit, because I am by myself. I am by myself. New rule, you must blade. I mean... Mm, mass Infection, Disarm. That's, that's a great spell to be using right now. Really good spell. Really good spell. It's going to be super useful. Super useful. Um, yes, obedience is key. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. You must heal. Okay. How about no? How about no? Is, is that an option? Because I will take that one. I will instead hit. Sounds like a good option, Purse. This is what happens when you don't follow the rules. He's like, nope, sorry, no blades, you not allowed. Sorry, nope. So annoying. So annoying! Why would you enfeeble me? No! How dare you? How dare you, sir? How dare you? This is very rude, and I do not approve of it at all. That is against the rules. You know what is else is against the rules? Enfeebling me. That's against the rules. But I don't see you not doing it. Um, we do this. We're going to fizzle. It doesn't matter. Strike your friends and be rewarded. I don't have any friends. Oh my gosh. This man's. He thinks I'm going to hurt my friends. But I don't have any. How am I meant to strike what I don't have? I don't understand. Why is he bullying me? This is so rude. This is so rude and unfair. And I just... Depression. Depression now. All I know. Very sad. Okay, there's the two shields gone. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. We fizzle, which is fine. We expected that to happen. Um, And we try again. Because we can't hit them, so obviously we try again. If he casts that blade on me, I would love that. I would really love that. No, he's casting it on himself. Why would you not cast it on me, dude? Why not? Why? Why no? Why no, Why no cast on me? It would be really cool and good if you could cast it on me. Honestly. I think it would have been great and beneficial for you. Just saying. Just saying would be cool. New rule, you must blade. I will follow this one. Because I need to blade. So I will. I will blade. I blade. I'll be a good boy. i be a good boy. Just this once. Just this one time. Just this once. Ouch. Ouchie. Ouchie. Actually taking a little bit of damage. Which is not great. Not cool or good. But this is fine. We blade. Yes, obedience is key. Thanks. Thanks, dude. I try and be very obedient. All the time. Except when I'm not. Um, what we do is we go for a blade into a scarecrow. Blade into a scarecrow. Strike your friends and be rewarded. And then we just blade again after that. That's fine. Stop enfeeb- not enfeebling, beguiling me. It's so annoying. I don't have any friends! This guy's being really rude to me. I hate this fight so much. This fight is painful and I don't like it. Stop removing my blades! Holy moly! Holy moly, me oh my. I'm gonna have to flee and come back with feints and traps only because this blade, and blade removal is getting frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. Can they just cease for five seconds? Also, does this dude only know natural attacks and poisons? Just wondering. Just wondering, because at the moment, it seems like that's all they're doing. If I can get the minion out, that would be cool. New rule, you must heal. You must blade. Um, we do this. This will hit, probably, maybe, most likely. Um, he blade. He do this. He do this. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Beguile. Beguile sucks. Beguile is the worst. Literally the worst. He's gonna remove my blade watch. Oh no, he's actually hitting me. Wow. Wow, he's actually hitting me. That did a heck of a lot. Holy moly. Imagine a storm was it actually hitting me and not just trying to remove my blades constantly. Stop with the crits! No! 
zero is fine. But still, the next the overtime is gonna do a lot. Ouch, ouchy, ouchy! I cannot afford this damage at the moment. Please cease, cease existing. Please stop. Go away. Go away. Get out of here. These guys are so annoying. These guys are literally the most annoying two ever. I hate them both. I hate them with a passion. You must play. Well, he's nearly dead, though, which is good. We can probably go for a um, thingy mob doohicker. What's it? Um, what's the word? The 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 the, the 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 Grim Reader. That's what I was thinking of. I can I can remember spell names for sure. Um, not next round because we're beguiled, but the round after, and it'll be great. It'll be so good and great, and everything will be amazing, and we'll win. And yeah, just hope he doesn't enfeeble me, because you know he will want to. He will want to. We pass. We pass. We pass. We do the pass. And he does a pass as well. Or blade. Can't actually remember what he did. Don't really care though. Don't really care. Can we hit him? Can I can I destroy him? I can destroy him. Don't remove my blades. Don't. Don't do it. Okay, he's hitting me. That's good. This is fine. This will do like 100 trillion damage, but it's fine. It's fine. We live. That is all that matters. That is all that matters here. We did it. We did it. Oh my gosh. We're so good. We are so good. Hello, buddy. Hello. Can you destroy him real quick for me? Thanks. Appreciate it. Get wrecked, kiddo. Why? Why can you not understand? All I wanted was peace and quiet. And for the people to never use the word societal. Was that too much to ask? I believe he is best at wizard. Should we not check on Solomon? We probably should. You know, he's probably dead or something. You know, it seems like something Solomon would do. I love the doors. They're like coffins. I've only just noticed that. Kind of spooky, but also kind of cool at the same time. You see, they're kind of like coffin shape. Um, yep. Solomon, hello. The beast is gone, felled by my hand. Return to your lives, all of you. The Malagast will trouble you no longer. Lucian's petty manipulations are revealed. You say the manor will flow freely now without the beast to consume it? Good. Then my work here is finished. I feel compelled to explore this world. There are more monsters to fight, evils to unearth. But where do I go first? Telos? You seek the darkest of the old judge's secrets and are enlisting a cadre of warriors to help you. I shall join this group then. Go, friend, and I will follow. Wizard, may we speak? I have been pondering our latest adventure. Lucian was a bad person, was he not? Lying, manipulating his followers into obeying him? Was the old one not the same way? He abducted these people, presented himself as their founder, and twisted their hopes and destinies. In his mind, I find such pride in his machinations, and the part of me that is not him, that was sickened with the realization of what I did to him. It is likewise sickened by what he did to these people. I do not wish to be him, wizard. I think, I think I tire of this shape. Proceed to the harmonic gate, wizard. This will do, I think. I don't know yet what I am to become, if I am to become anything at all. But I wish it to be better than the old one. And with this lock opened, we are a step closer to his world synthesizer. What next? Very well, wizard. Let us check in on Quartermain in his hall, then plot our next destination. Ha ha! The wizard, you return. Your newest bird friend tells a most interesting tale. Verily, wizard, I repeated the words of the old judge's ethereal manifestation. That stallion is the template which created the heroes of this world. 
Ridiculous! There is no horse stuck in my family tree! I only know that which I was told. This debate should be put on hold, good friends, for we must continue our quest for the synthesizer. And I have a clue! Ha ha! First, what do you think, the wizard? This place is shaping up into quite the hall of heroes, no? <laughs> but enough boasting. The clue! While you were away, I spoke to the hierarchs. I think one of the stations indicated on your map is in a lost region called Mandoria. It is a legend. No lemur has ever set paw there. But with your map, the position of the sun, and a seance or two, I think I found it! The route goes through the wildlands, the night forest, and a place called the badlands. Don't forget to use the teleporty doodad. Off you go. Right, next time we will head into Mandoria. As always, thank you for watching, and as always, remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you've already subscribed, press the little bell so you know exactly when I post another video, and remember to craft outside the box. Mm -hmm.